Hey, it's Sherry Storms here, and I have a couple of quick tips that I'd like to share today. And they may be simple to you, and it may be something that you don't know. But uh, what I'd like to do is show you how to do create a hyperlink. And you can do this in your, your autoresponder, whether it's GetResponse or, or AWeb or whatever. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in GetResponse, and probably also on my blog. So, but uh, it basically works the same way. So uh, let me share my screen just a second. Okay, this is the back office of uh, my, my get, re get response. So I'm going to go to, um, for some reason, I like the previous version of the editor. I'm going to create a document. And our subject can be, we'll just do test. You can do plain text or HTML. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, type. And I'll just say this, or let's say, I'll just say click here, because that's, that's kind of typical. Click here. And then I'm going to go get uh, one of my uh, links. See, I don't, don't even have one pulled up right now. Um, let me just do this one. I'm going to grab this link. Then I'm going to go back to get response. And I'm going to highlight, click here, and I'm going to insert. See this little paper clip type thing? It says insert, edit link. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to go to the link URL. So I'm going to type that in, and you want it to open in a new window. So I'm going to click there and insert. That's all there is to it. And if you want to, while I'm at it, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you this as well. If you want to add an image to um, uh, get response, that's what this little button is for. And actually, in the other version, it's a little a little easier. But uh, I'm going to um, click there to add an image. And let me just cancel that for right now. I actually wasn't going to do that, but um, let me show, show you that, but because that could be for a, another training. But uh, let me go ahead and grab one of my links here. And I, I, I use this so much that I already have it. I already know what it is. So this is one of my pictures. And I'm going to insert. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to insert the picture. The image description. And then you can go to appearance to make it smaller. You can adjust it here. I usually do that a little bit. And then you're going to insert. So there you have it. And you can also click on this picture and go back up here and insert a hyperlink to this picture uh, too, wherever you want this picture to go. If you want it to go to a capture page or whatever, you uh, can just highlight it, click on that, and then go ahead and send out your email. Okay, uh, the next thing I want to show you real quick, and actually this has been as quick as I thought it was going to be, but um, that's how to do uh, use a, a URL shortener. This is called Bitly, B-I-T-L-Y. And I'm going to use the same link that I, I did. I'm going to use the link to my blog. I'm just going to highlight that, copy it, and go back to Bitly and paste it. See how easy that was? And right there is your link. Right there's your link. So you can copy that. And when you do, you can go to uh, Facebook or, or Twitter. I'm going to go to Facebook. I have Facebook open. And this is actually my uh, this is actually my personal profile. So I'm going to go to my well. I'll just I'll just do it here. Oh, should have turned off the chat. I'm going to paste that 
and it pops up. 10 tips to improve your communication skills. And all I did was paste that little tiny link. And you can also come back, take this out. If you don't want it to show that, uh, then you can go back to your blog or, or whatever and or write anything in there. I usually do that. Just highlight the, the title. Go back to my Facebook, put it in there, paste it. That way there's a title so they'll know what they're, they're going to be looking at. But it, it says it right there so it doesn't really matter. And then you just post it. And since this is on my, I already did this once today so I'm not going to do it. But anyway, I just wanted to share those couple of tips with you. How you can create a hyperlink in, in Get Response, And it's the same way if you do it in your blog or whatever. Uh, create a hyperlink so that when you send out an email, you have a um, people can click. You can actually say click here, and when they do, then they will go to wherever you want them to go. And then Bitly, that's that's a pretty good little tool too. It uh, does tracking, which I'm not going to go into that, but it does tracking. So this is Sherry Starnes. Hope you uh, uh, got some value from from those uh, quick tips. And um, if you uh, if you want more tips and marketing strategies, then go on over to my blog at SherryStarnesOnline.com, and uh, there um, you can actually find out more about the, my products, my business, and like I said, there's lot, lots of uh, marketing tips over there. So this is Sherry Starnes. Make it a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.